examples part four. So this is example six. It says find the limit. So we're taking the limit of the sum. So we do need to calculate this sum first so that everything is in terms of n and then we can um, take the limit of that function. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find simplify this sum. So every step I take simplifying the sum, I do still have to write lim as n approaches infinity um, until I'm done and I actually find the limit, okay? If I do not write lim, then I need to specify that everything I'm doing is just my side work and then once I'm ready to plug in or ready to find the limit, then I will type lim, okay? But for me, I'm gonna just be consistent and type lim for everything, okay? So I am gonna take this fraction, it does not have an i in it, so it will not affect each term, to the front of the summation. I cannot take it to the front of the limit because it does have an n and n will go to infinity. So I'm just gonna take it to in front of the summation. So I have 2i minus 3 squared. The next thing I'm going to do is actually square that value in per, that quantity in parentheses so that I can figure out how to get the sums. So 2i times 2i is 4i squared. Um, 2i times 3 is negative 6i and double that, that's negative 12i. And then negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Okay, so that's there. All I am doing is taking 2i minus 3 and multiplying it times itself. Okay, and when you FOIL that out and you combine the like terms, this is what you end up with. Now, um, I'm going to separate this into each term. So I have 2 over n cubed. And then here I'm going to take out the constant and leave i squared minus, take out the constant, leave in the i, and then here it's just a constant which can be left there to use the constant rule. So here I have lim as n goes to infinity, and now I'm going to apply my summation rules. So I get 4 times... Um, n times n plus 1, 2n plus 1 over um, 6 for i squared. And then I have um, n times n plus 1 over 2 plus 9 times n for just a constant. Okay. Now let's simplify this. I can actually simplify the four and the three. That becomes four and the six, I'm sorry. That becomes two and three. Here I can simplify the 12 and the two. That'll become six and one. And there, there's nothing to reduce. At the same time, I am gonna go ahead and distribute this two over n cubed to each of these three terms here. just to prevent so much writing. So I'm gonna get two times two, which is four, and then I'm gonna end up with n cubed times three. Minus two times six is 12, over n cubed times one is n cubed, and then two times nine is 18, and then over n cubed. Now I do notice that with each one of these fractions, I can reduce by an n. So that would make this squared, that would make this squared, and that would make this squared. However, if I want a common denominator, they all have an n squared, but this fraction is missing a three and a three. This fraction is also missing a three and a three. So let's see what we get now that all the denominators would be 3n squared. So I would end up with 4 times n plus 1, 2n plus 1, minus 36 times n plus 1, 
and then plus um, 54 times, no n, because the n canceled. So just 54. Now I do need to distribute all of this and figure out what that's going to be before I can take um, the limit here using our old limit techniques. So let's see what we get. Um, now if I distribute the 4, excuse me, I'm trying to grab a lid here. Okay, so if I distribute the 4, I will get, um, I don't really need the brackets anymore now that it's one giant fraction. So if I distribute the 4, multiply the first two numbers together, we get 4n plus 4 times 2n plus 1. If I distribute the negative 36 here, I get negative 36n minus 36 plus 54. Then if I continue to distribute this, let's do that, we'll get 8n squared plus 4n plus 8n plus 4, negative 36 plus 54 is going to be a positive 18. I'm just combining these two to get that 18. And then here we have 8n squared, oh this should have an n, sorry, that's coming down. We have 4n plus 8n minus 36. So I have negative 24n's total and then 4 plus 18 is going to give me a positive 22 over 3n squared. Now. I do need to take this limit, so in order to use do that, we have to use our limit um, strategies. Now, what we do is we take the highest degree of the denominator, and we divide every term by that. So this is n squared. I'm going to divide every term by n squared. I don't need to mess with the coefficient, just the variable term. So then this simplifies into 8 minus 24 over n plus 22 over n squared over 3. Now as n goes to infinity, this fraction will approach 0, this fraction will approach 0, which will leave me with 8 over 3. Now that I've actually taken the limit, you should no longer be writing lim. So this is the actual limit for this problem.